So funny enough, it's been a few days, almost a week now, since I installed iOS 15, 16, sorry, on my iPhone 8. And I can definitely tell you in more ways than one, iOS 16 kind of has ruined the iPhone 8. And I will get into it in a second, but I will tell you right now, it has long ways to go. I think iOS 16, by the end of it, will be in a very solid you know, situation. I personally do think if you're on iOS 16 right now, on any iPhone that you personally own, it's a really bad idea. But even regardless of what I'm saying right now, iOS 16 has a long time to mature. Now, the first thing I want to go and get into is actually with the features associated with this. Now, there's a lot more into it, but essentially there are so many limited features within iOS 16 for these iPhones that it really kind of makes me upset. Now, we get some of the big things like customized lock screens we can hold down here. We can go and customize the lock screens if we want to. We can also go ahead and, you know, unsend iMessages and so many other things like that, which is cool. But there were a lot of features that were only associated with these newer iPhones, which I made 30 other videos about that actually kind of makes me upset. Apple has never before done a situation like this with an update where every single iteration of their iPhones had like features cut out. The iPhone 8s had features cut out, iPhone 10s had features cut out, iPhone 11s and even iPhone 12s had features cut out too. They've never really limited this like this and the iPhone 8 is the most limited iPhone in this whole entire lineup. Now on top of that, when I went ahead and compared my iOS 16 iPhone 8 against an iPhone 8 that I have on iOS 15, I saw that the performance I was getting on something like this iPhone was much worse than I was getting on iOS 15. Now I say that to say, with a device like the iPhone 8, it's really not going to be as fast as it used to be, but still, for it to be as slow and much slower on the iPhone 8 than it was on the iPhone 8 on iOS 15, that was another really big thing that I saw. But another massive thing that I saw was with heavy gaming. So with Genshin Impact, right, I didn't even notice battery life. I didn't even test any of that stuff out. But with a big game like Genshin Impact that many people play, I actually saw that the performance I was getting from a game like this on this, not only were the loading screens and everything much lower on here, but also the gameplay was much choppier. And I'm saying it was way worse than expected. And that was something I wasn't expecting. When you have a game like Genshin Impact, you are expecting it to not be as great as it used to be, right? But I mean, on iOS 15, it was performing fairly well. And then randomly on iOS 16, it just wasn't performing that great. So that was one thing that really threw me off the exact same graphics components and everything too, which really threw me off too. So I will like to see how that kind of progresses as we kind of move on. But when I look at a phone like the iPhone 8 on iOS 15, I truly do believe this is a much more solid experience that I was getting from this type of iPhone. I mean, it was really wasn't perfect, but I feel like battery life is better right now on iOS 15. I feel like everything is better. So I say that to say, like I mentioned, iOS 16 has a long ways to go. This thing is not going to be outdated today. It's not going to be, you know, ending on updates right now. It has a long ways to go. But I will be taking a keen eye on seeing what Apple does to, you know, progress the performance of these iPhones. And hopefully they make it a much better performing device overall. So those are just a few different things I noticed with my iPhone 8 after messing around with it on iOS 16 for probably about almost a week now. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.